Hey, I'm Jen Runyon, and we are backstage at Distributech 2019. The keynote is going on now. Terry Donnelly, president, uh, a president and COO of ComEd, just finished a really energizing um, speech. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yeah, so um, we are not in the utility business anymore. So what are we in? What are utilities doing these days? Well, I think what we're, we're in is to make our communities more vibrant, connected, and we're in the business of helping them solve their problems with technology and using our grid and how we can improve their lives, which includes things like education, uh, workforce development, as well as new technology. And it's pretty exciting, and, and I think our future's bright. Yeah, it really is exciting. I mean, Comet is doing some amazing things. I found, um, you know, some of your really great stats, a 60% improvement in reliability in five years. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. How did you get there? What did you do to increase that reliability? Well, I think we're really fortunate uh, that in, in our company at ComEd uh, and the state of Illinois uh, is very proactive on creating the environment for improvement in energy. Mm -hmm. And the Energy, Infrastru the energy Infrastructure Modernization Act uh, that was in 2011, 2012, and the recent Future Energy Jobs Act really provides the foundation yeah. for us to improve and make the kind of improvements like a 60% improvement in reliability in just five years. And so what, I mean, was that new equipment? Was that new services? What, what were you offering? You uh, a lot of, in, uh, it was a lot of investment mm -hmm. uh, that was both infrastructure and technology mm -hmm. and both and a lot of offerings for our customer as well. Part of that investment involved four over four million smart meters. Okay. And uh, we're offering uh, customers peak time savings programs, uh, better outage detection, and better service. Yeah. Uh, so we were able to make improvements up and down the line, and our employees are just ecstatic about it. Well, clearly, I mean, that's a great, great thing to brag about, a 60% improvement. So a uh, couple more things. What about the smart street lights? Tell me about what, how are they smart? You're installing a lot. Well, of those you know, uh, we use. I, I like talking about street lights. I mean, street lights are, uh, as I said, an icon of quality of life. Yeah. There's nothing like a street light mm -hmm. uh, for a neighborhood. Right. Uh, it's public safety. It's um, livability, uh, and uh, the street light enters the modern era. We've worked with uh, Itron on making them smart, which means it has a smart node on top of them, and we can control the lights and know the status of the lights uh, through the smart grid network uh, that we have. So we're able to provide better service, uh, and the LED type of technology is over a 60% energy savings as well, uh, and it's really helped us uh, on the front end of connecting with our community. And uh, it's, it's pretty exciting because yeah. the street light is, you know, we all know it. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool stuff. I, I was, uh, had the pleasure of going to the iTron User Week and learned about all the cool things mm -hmm. they're putting in those right street lights. And we know um, if it's out right away, yeah. you know, so if, uh, if it's out, we know right away and we can make repairs quickly. We don't need someone to call it in yeah. or have a patrol to try to find it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, so last question. Um, I have been covering the renewable energy industry for the past 11 years. Um, give us an update on Bronzeville. We, we love this project, a cl microgrid cluster, maybe first in the world. Oh, it's, it's, it's super exciting, and we're constructing it now. Uh, we have partnerships with the Department of Energy on this, and we have uh, built a lab, actually, at our training center in Bridgeport to test these technologies. Uh, we have teams of engineers. We have a community advisory group that's helping us on what problems do you need us to work on. It's not we, we're not unilateral anymore. We need to hear from the community what we want. They want us to work on with them. What can the microgrid do for them? So we come up with things like uh, first and last mile of mo electric vehicle sharing to get from the CTA stop to say a senior home, uh, and we've got STEM education programs. Uh, and uh, we've got PV battery storage uh, technology that we're installing on uh, the, the uh, solar. We're installing on the top of Chicago housing projects. And uh, we're going to make it all work. Yeah. And it will work. Yeah. We're really excited about it. And it's a, it's a 
a symbol, more than a symbol, but it's about what we can do in the future to meet the needs of our customers and our communities. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for coming and giving us a, little, us a little taste of your keynote. Thank you. And again, I'm Jen Runyon backstage at Distributech 2019.